when you get that comment, why didn't you use soapy water to get the car off the trailer?
Nailed it. That's going to do it for this one. Now we can go rescue more stuff. So what's the plan with the 64 Herbie replica? Not 63 ragtop, 64. Well, you can see here, it rolls when elevated. On the ground, it does not roll. So the plan is to pull this transmission out. I have a 67 tranny. We're gonna throw a 1500 in Herbie. That's the plan. So, let's get started. If I can't push it, I can't own it. Gonna be a pro at these transmissions. Nah. Actually, we don't need to go that high. Of course I brought the wrong size. Loosen up our grub screw here. So I have new parts coming for the um, Chaney back mount, front mounts. So we only have one of the three back here to take off. So we're gonna have to find some hardware. I don't think our back mount's connected. It's gonna crawl under that, see if it pulls forward. Yeah, it's, it's not even connected, we just slapped it in there. Clutch cable's off. I didn't get on film, but I had to take the crowbar and pop that input shaft off. This car hates me. Another one of those. Oh yeah. So after all that, you guys missed the shot. You woo, fell asleep, I see. Nice, good job. It's always nice to have two jacks to fix your 
mistakes. The strap just keeps getting in the way. All right, Herbie Jr., you're, you're on your way to getting a 67 tranny. All right, well, here's our transmission 67. It's hard to believe I was actually driving this car not too long ago. Be able to use this hardware. That'll be good. Had some problems with the uh, shaft was seized in there. I'd use that pry bar. Can use all this hardware. I'm sure I'm missing it all. Give you a quick shop update. It's been a while. Uh, 58 Agave ragtop car. This one's staying. Doom buggy 2110 is for sale. 12.5 Corvair for sale. 85. I do enjoy driving this car at four speed. Just the 110, but not in a hurry to get anywhere. Larry and Jay, 58 rag, not for sale. This 59, beautiful, low miles car. I'm going to send this thing. I love this car, but I got way too many irons in the fire. Nice original dash, original interior. Most of you guys have seen this car. Need some paint work and a uh, rocker. Rocker repair on the other side, but awesome awesome just original pretty original you know unmessed with car repop rear fenders the 63 i'm making it a real herbie no i'm just kidding 63 ruby red sending this thing remember barn dubs and i did the brakes on this this thing needs a home beautiful dash on this one too so no engine 7500 brakes are done needs a fuel system that brings us to this how about an update on the 58 is it a semaphore car roll the clip oh yeah oh yeah the bondo yep in a big square hole for a semaphore all right lower lower oh yeah, yeah there yeah. yes yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Oh yeah, just welded closed. They did it the right way. How about now? Yeah! Oh yeah. yeah. There it is. Knew it! I went with my gut. There it is. Ha ha ha! Look at all that. Yes! So where's the sun for? Is it right there? Well, probably... They probably I don't know. It. Probably they, they welded a patch in, so they did it the right way. Because those are all welds. I wish they just bonded over it. That would have been the nicer thing to do. Unless that's the semaphore <laughs> welded in there. <laughs> what, is, what is that, the uh, Al Capone vault? Yeah. Hey, you have a semaphore oval. I've got Not a, oval, uh, 58. I've got a semaphore car. There it is, baby. That's awesome. So how is it? This car is very solid. Original pans. Just a little bit of rust. Front end kind of got slapped back together, but solid Napoleon's hat. Typical quarter and rocker rust. Inner quarter, nice repair over here. Appeared correct. So 
solid body mounts though. So I just kind of moved everything over so it's a little bit of a mess, but that engine is for the 56 oval. We've got a 1641, we could throw that in the Westie, um, the West Valley there, the 67 we just picked up. That's a 40. If the engine that we got with the double cab doesn't work out, that's potential there for that. Two liter in the works. Yeah, I know, I gotta get this cleaned up. But anyway, Keeper 2110. I might even pull this engine, save the engine. It's only got 300 miles on it. Doom buggy is just not for me. So if you want it without the engine, let me know. Be happy to do that. With or without the center lines. And uh, yeah, I'll clean up all the mold for you, I promise. So that's it. There's your shop update. Let's go get the uh, 67 home. All right guys, so plans have changed. I've been staring at Herbie and I just, we're just gonna throw this tranny in to make it a roller. I've gotta get the double cab, the 67 Westie, way too many projects. Come to, I've come to the realization, I have too many projects. But no, I'm not done buying. Safety wired, fancy. So if somebody wants Herbie, let me know. First, I gotta show you all the bad. All right. So I basically just cut everything so we can just do the mounts, slide it out. We'll get rid of the 67 stabilizer, uh, what do you call those things? Stable, I can't remember. What are they called? The uh, bar. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Get rid of that. What was this, an eight millimeter? I'm back to the adjustable. It works. I brought a 10. That's some serious bus action right there. All right, one down, one to go. Got the lower two 15 millimeters out here. Three and three are out. All the cables are disconnected. This is what was hanging up on uh, Herbie, so. Might have to get the pry bar and pop that free, but we should be good. Wiggle that out of there. Josh is riding his ATC. Can you say ATC? Are they outlawed? Oh, that's what he's riding. Why didn't I do this on the ground? That's a good question. Great question. Oh, we got a ground strap. I started on it. It's always something. Stand by. Can you say stand by? Of course, it's 17. I'll bring you back, get that ground strap. I'm not gonna cut it, I'll try to save that. Ground strap was junk. I just pulled it off, ripped it off. Oh, that was way easier than, uh... That was way easier than Kirby. Here it is, ready for takeoff. Got it? 
Oh, there you are. Where are you with the Kubota? Well, you were out cruising around. Are you yeah, I'm recording. Get on that thing. You'll get a kick out of this one. I left the big bolts in, so I have to take the uh, mount off to get those bolts out. Get the bolts out, put it back on. Let's try it now, Einstein. Why am I fighting this thing? Oh. Don't make that same mistake. All right. I'm gonna get this buttoned up and get it back in there. Yes, I know that side's broken. This is just for rolling it around purposes. Almost there. I get these six buttoned up. Get the wheels on. We'll go for first push in years. <laughs> Let's 
Getting there, getting there. Yeah, I heard you about the grease on the lug nuts. I'm with you. I usually use it. The problem was the drums were out and they were all rusty, compromised. You know I'm a greaser. Alright, we'll get these on. And we are moments away. Dropping her beyond all fours again. You guys ready? It's windy. First push. Yeah! Roller! That's it. I'm cooked. Make it a great week. I'm rolling away with Herbie. Thanks for dropping in. We'll see you soon, guys. Take care. <laughs>